Okay, this lesson is for Winslow Homer's Palm Trees at Nassau. I'm um, doing this on some smaller manila paper just to make it a little bit easier to see everything. All right, uh, this could be for pre-K um, up through third grade. The biggest difference between what I'm gonna do right here and in your instructions is in your instructions uh, for pre-K, it says, you know, don't do the horizon line. And that's really it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is grab my green oil pastel and I'm gonna draw kind of just down here the land that my palm tree is sitting on. So, yep, something along those lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my green because I'm just doing my outlines right now. And I am going to draw my trunk little curvy lines up here and then I'm going to go ahead and get my my leaves going fronds aren't, aren't palm leaves called fronds eh, I might have that wrong I don't know but anyway and how you want to draw them is completely up to you if you want to do the jagged edges or if you want to do more of a leaf shape either way is good Go with what works for you. Like I always ask my students, like, does yours have to look like mine? No. Does yours have to look like the artist's? No. Does it look, look like your neighbor's? No. Does it need to look like yours? And that's when I get them to say yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my blue. If I can find this one's blue. Here it is. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in of a horizon line like I said if you're doing pre-k especially or even kindergarten you don't have to do the horizon line all right then I am going to take my I'm going to start up here at the top with my leaves and you can have some fun with it because we're just coloring them in you can either just do it in the dark green to match or I mean you can do like the light green and then, you know, bring in some yellow. So you've got, you know, more than just one color happening in there. You could even do that a little bit with the dark green, especially if you leave some blank spaces by it or inside the leaf, like over here. Fill in some of it with the dark green and then go back over it with the yellow. I think it looks pretty cool. All right. Let me do these two real fast, so I don't obsess about it. And you're like, but I didn't do those two. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my brown and just do the coconuts real fast. And I'm gonna take a little bit of black and just kind of outline them a bit. There you go, you don't have to do that part. For the trunk, you can have some fun with it too. What I like to do is to um, start with my brown and kind of make lines, little curved lines going up, and then take uh, other colors like my green and do the same thing. And then even my black. You could actually even take little hints of red in there. And then what I'll do at the end is I'll take my brown and then just kind of lightly fill in what's left. So, I mean, how you do that is completely up to you. All right, so down here, we've got our land. It's gonna be fairly similar. You take your green, and color away and then you can have fun with it you can bring in a little bit of light green so, yeah you could even bring in some orange bring in them little bits of color i think even you could do bits of red so you got some parts that really stand out. 
and some of your kids will just completely smash all that in with dark green or you know whatever and that's fine it's their picture okay so now if you are gonna do some water what can be kind of fun is if you take your you know you should have like a dark blue and a light blue um, and what you can do is color in a little bit here you know kind of do some darker back here and almost kind of lighten it up as you're coming in and then take your light start coloring on top of where that dark blue was so that they are kind of mixed together and then as you come down it just turns into that light blue and then you can even go lighter as you come in if you want to get really fancy you can even break out your white oil pastel and kind of do a little bit down here and even just some marks out here for like the surf and stuff the white's also really pretty for blending some of that blue together I don't know how well it's showing up, but there you go. Okay, you just have to remember to actually give it a quick rub and clean off your white again. Okay, so for the most part, that's all there is on the oil pastels. Um, now for the watercolor part. And what you're going to do with it is you're going to put a lot of water kind of right here in the lid. And you can do this two ways. If you just want to take the water and just kind of paint on your paper first, and then you touch your paint, and then it goes on where that water is, and it makes it all kind of light and interesting looking. And I know one thing that uh, Lori says to do is to take a paper towel and to blot it. And she says that makes the clouds. That's up to you if you want to do that. Another way to do clouds would be just take your white oil pastel and do some little fluffiness there. And the watercolor will go around it the same way that it does all the rest of the oil pastel. You see there? So, two ways to do that. Um, the other way would be to, again, get some water here in your lid and then just dip your brush directly into it. For, oh, sorry, dip your brush into the paint and then put it right back into this water. And then this water is what you would just put over here. Either way, the idea is to get just kind of a light wash of color there in the background. And you could even add just a touch more blue to it and come down here on top of the water and just let it get in any of the places that you did not fill in. If you do all of it, then, you know, don't mess with that down there. You could also do like the green or the yellow and do a wash down here if you don't want to just color in with your oil pastels. But yeah, that's completely up to you. So this is our Winslow Homer for the lower grades and I hope you had fun with it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.